The following program is brought to you in part by Time Warner Cable and the Madison County School System. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. Richmond Tourism. Pro Signs. CSEP. First Gear. And Rosenbaum Communications. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course watch all of our videos on YouTube. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. Madison County School Sports Television. My name is Don Foster Long, side Mr. Chad Tate. Yes, sir. Tomahawk Classic time, the Eagles and the Indians. A little preview of the 44th District tonight, perhaps. Yes, sir. Pretty early matchup in the in the season for these two teams. Uh, both clubs, you know, having ups and downs. Central been playing pretty well. Took a loss last night against uh, Louisville Mail, but uh, they've been playing pretty well since they came back from Florida. So Louisville Mail ranked 11th yep. in the state. And I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, one of the better pitchers in the region, if not the state, going for Madison Southern tonight, Mr. Griffin Norris. So we'll we'll see how that goes for everybody. Central comes in with a record of 13 wins, five losses. Southern limps in at three and 12. Yeah, they've they've had some struggles. I think offensively, talked to the coach a little bit, but they 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 feel like they've been in a lot of games. Just kind of last minute and lost some. Uh, he's still you know kind of young in some spots, but. You, uh, Southern three wins. They beat Harrison. They beat Bull. Both teams were ranked in top 25 at one time. Yep, yep. So, problem with Madison Southern, they give up a lot of hard earned runs. They kick it around a lot. Yep. On the mound for the Indians tonight, we have Mr. Alex Gorgel. Gorgel, he is on the mound. And and I said that wrong, Georgel. I said it three times. Well, there you go. <laughs> right, but I know it all my life. I still messed it up. So, we'll, uh, we'll see what we got. Starting off for... The Eagles will be number six, Easton Schaus. He's the shortstop. He's played some varsity experience the last few years, so we'll see how we can get things going. So a rematch of opening night. All right. National Guard Indian Classic Indian. here for the Indians. Open it up. First pitch taken. Well, he took bunt, but I think he showed bunt, but he I think he went around. They're going to call that a strike, yes. I believe. I think he might have tipped it. Yeah, he, he got fooled on that. Um, again, this is the National Guard sponsoring this nice classic. We got Harlan and Lafayette also in the field, and the girls have got some games going on up there this weekend as well. I think we're doing like the girls. uniforms for the Indians tonight. There you go. In the camo. Camo. It's great the National Guard supports the high school sports and gets involved in that. Oh, one's the count. Third baseman in. Ball has popped up. Shallow fly ball. Shortstop going out. The left fielder is going to come in and take control on that one. That'll be a fly out to Mr. Austin Alexander in left field. One down here. Cut on top. Looks like, like I said, Shouse wanted to kind of fool him, maybe get in there with a bunt, but he got thrown off, got behind the count, popped up. Number three, Connor Buchanan up to the plate for the Eagles. He's playing right field. Connor's, I think, uh, saw some stats. He's leading them and hitting right now. Connor's a, come from a long line of ball players. Good young man. Hey, Alex. Ball high. Work now. That's three in a row. Let's go. Just now. I think Connor's played varsity several years, Donald. Not sure what year he is. He's a junior. Is he a junior? 
Shot. Nice little shot up the middle. Boy, nice he's, a, he's a hitter. Buchanan gets better than his daddy. <laughs> Scott, his dad, played an excellent ball player. Played a lot of ball with him. So Connor gets the first hit of the ball game. Buchanan on first with one out. Jonathan Ross, the catcher, number 21. Brings the plate, number 21, Jonathan Ross. He is the catcher. See what Southern gets if they get anything going. Connor, not a real big threat to steal, I don't think. I don't know if it's early in the game anyway. I think he has several stolen bases, but see what they try early. Dustin Hong is sign in. Taking first strike. There we go. Zach Hall behind the plate for the Indians. Experienced catcher. Right at first, one out. George will sets. On the stretch. Oh, I bet he got him. They got him. Caught him leaning. Caught him leaning. I don't know if he was going, but he sure got caught leaning and a nice move by Torgel and picked him off. So we a killer rally right there. Get picked off first. So first base hit of the game gets wasted. You can a little anxious. Two so down. Two down for Mr. Ross. All low. One one or count. Two down. They haven't changed it up there. We got two down. There is two away though. Georgia back to the wind up. We're also to play with two outs. Off speed and still got him full folding with that raking pitch. He's looking for something harder, wasn't he? Yep, yep. One and twos are count. We're all in the box. One ball, two strikes. First in here. Hi, ball two. George are doing a good job so far mixing up his speeds. That's what high school, that's really what you got to have. These guys, these kids don't look to, you know, mixing your speeds is huge. Pitch. See ya. Woo. Nope, outside. Good eye, good pair of eyeballs for Mr. Ross. Full count, two outs here in the top of the first. The ball missed it, didn't miss by much. Foul ball. Still behind on that one, way foul to the right field side. Like I said, when you're off speed like that, you come hard, come low, something off, you know, that's going to really get the pitch hitter guessing, and that's a, that's a pitcher's dream right there. Full count, two down. And oh. walked him. Two out walk, drawn by Ross. Coming up the plate will be the designated hitter, extra hitter in here, number 25, Devin Vanover. Devin's a big hitter. He's played the varsity a couple years. Going to have a pinch runner going in over there. Runner. For the catcher. I didn't see who it is. Can't see a number. But it is not Ross. So. Seven. Is it five? I can't see. Your eyes going to be better than me. I think it's a double digit number. Yeah, it is. Georgia from the stretch. First, first pitch to Van Over is a strike. Getting on top. Got you on top on every hitter so far. Name of the game, get ahead. Got to work, make him hit your pitch. Two down here in the top of the first. Georgia from the stretch. Off speed pitch, good pitch. Going to second. No throw. Oh, he threw. Yep. Oh. Good base run in that time. He saw the bounce in front. Wasn't, it wasn't far away, but that puts him in scoring position. So a nice job for, for the runner. Is that an A? Is that a 32? I believe it may be, Donald. If it is, it's Mark Agee. It's Mark Agee. I'm it's not going to. Mark Agee. We're going to go with that. Like I said, our eyes aren't too good. It's either that or John Millard. It's 32 or 33 on his jersey. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, two's a count. Way ahead in the count. We've got a runner in scoring position for Vanover. Georgia from the stretch. Looks him back. Throw it away. Pass ball goes to third. Would you call that a pass ball? Yeah. Okay. Catch sure had that, one. that is Mr. Millard, Millard, number 33. Pitch was high, but catch sure had that one. All right, one and two is the count. Two outs. Van over to the plate. The big number four hitter. Got a runner at third. George will trying to get out of the top of the first without anything getting on the boards. Two down. Scoreboard still says one. Good. And he got him Stuck with him the off the pitch. Inning. Nice job for George. Had him guessing and got out in front. So we've got one hit, but he was taken away from a pickoff move, and we're going into the bottom of the first with uh, Central coming to the plate. We'll be back in a few minutes. Madison County School Sports Television. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, 
Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com Linville Insurance Time Warner Cable Madison County Schools Richmond Tourism Pro Signs CSEP First Gear and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. for the bottom of first here at Madison Central High School, Don Richardson Field. Madison Southern, no runs in that first inning. Now Central coming up, and who's leading off for our Indians? Center fielder Ben Morin, leadoff hitter. Ben's played a lot of years, done a good job for the Indians, so he's going to face Mr. Griffin Norse, the ace of the staff, one of the better pitchers around right now. Norse looks in. Fastball right down the middle. Nice Don't. pitch. Yep, right about the knees. Didn't quite, uh, I don't think he had his full heat on that one, but he's ready to go again. Starts out on top. Heated that up a little bit. Just a little outside, one and one. You can tell right now Norris is going to work quick. Hitters for Central going to either have to get time called or something because he's wanting to control the game. One one pitch. Ground ball to third. Oh, a tough up. hop, tough hop. Ooh. Man, that was Single. a tough hop. Yeah, we had to give him a single on that. Lucas Owens was playing a little bit in. He had it was in front of him. Boy, it took a took an Indian hop on that yeah, one. Third so. baseman playing in on top of the hard hit. Yep. It just it it hit a pebble and bounced on him. Wow. So Warren leads the thing off with a single to left on a good Indian bounce. Now Griffin's going to have Griffin North going to have to go to the stretch. Who's up now for our Indians? Joseph Looks Holbrook, like, number eleven, Mr. first Holbrook. baseman. Joseph. Let's see if we get any action on the base pass. Warren, good speed. Central was a running team. Slow move. Gets more to let him know he sees him over there. That's a token throw, wasn't it? So now Norris going to go from the stretch. Again, he's going to try and work quick, so then he's going to have to get there, make him make a pitch on their time, and Norris going to have to try and do the opposite. So from the stretch, a little bit high. Wasn't much. A little high. 1-0 and oh uh, for Norris right now. Pitch is way high. Southern oh. crowd wanting to call. Holbrook in there. One ball, no strikes. About the same spots. So we got that one. So even it up. Even it up. One and ones are count. Again, more on it first. Norris working from the stretch here in the bottom of the first. Looking to run, maybe. See what Morin does. He's staying. He's oh, going. Goes. And sit, sit and run. And perfect. He's see if he can get him at first. No nope. can't. Oh. Third away. Going to third, going to second are the runners. Dixon should have come on off the bag a little bit. Nice try by the shortstop for Southern there. It's the only play you had because they were running on the pitch. So we had Shouse made a good play on the ball. Long throw, wasn't going to get, wasn't going to get Holbrook. And like I said, uh, Dixon should have come off the bag a little more and made sure and blocked that up. So rather than first and third, first and second, now we've got second and third with nobody out. Two minutes scoring position. And the number three hole, Cab Hunter Cablin. Cablin. Hunter's dad was an excellent ball player here at Central. Mickey. Third baseman in. Norris starts off with a strike. That's tough for a quality pitcher like that. He, he, he's done his pitches, and he didn't get a real good break on that one. And then the sets up second and third. He's having to pitch out of. A little out. It's been the story of the season for Southern, though. The errors and the little mistakes. Hunter grounds. One and ones are count here. Second and third for Madison Central, threatening early. Cablin, the three hole hitter in the box. One and one pitch, and I base hit. hit. Nice piece of hitting. Two runners coming. Two run will score on that one. And a nice single for Cablin. Good piece of hitting right there. They know Norris is going to throw 
hard and a good pitcher, and that pitch was outside, and he just pushed that that away. Well, the thing with Norris is you know he's going to be around the plate. Absolutely. He's he, not going to be wild, so yep. you can look in the plate area, and it's going to yep. be there. So a nice piece of hitting. Let's tough, break up. tough break for Southern and Norris right there. So now he's going to have to work. Two runs across the board, man on first, nobody out. Josh Wright. Right fielder outside. Starts him out with the ball high. Now what, what Norris has got to make sure and not do, the junior pitcher's got to make sure that he doesn't, or excuse me, senior, make sure that he does not, uh, actually he's just a junior too, excuse me. Yeah, he's. That he does not overthrow here and try and make everything himself. That's a tendency that a pitcher has to do. You're a competitor. Ball outside, 2-0. and oh. You got to make sure and keep yourself focused on that junior catcher making good pitches. Two balls, no strikes. Two right. Just got him. Got the low strike. Two and one. It was a good pitcher's, good hitter's count, and he let it go. And a good pitch by Norris to not serve it right down the middle. He hit the low corner. Two and one. Nobody out here in the bottom of the first. One man on. Good Norris from the stretch. Another good pitch. Strike two. Like I said, Norris is going to hit those corners, and he's going to. He's not, going to be around the plate. Doesn't walk a lot of people. No, he's exactly going to be right. Around the plate. So he's going to try and keep this inning from getting any worse than it is. 2-0. Indians on top. And a loop hit. single, man. Everything third. Goes, uh, too shallow. Too shallow. Everything. Wright didn't look to run much over there, so I don't think. He's excuse not, me, Kaplan was. Not Billy Hamlin. Yeah, yeah. Not Billy Hamlin. <laughs> So another kind of a tough break there for Norris. So not a real hard hit ball, but as the offensive side, it was you hit it where they ain't. That's what you got to do. So, all right. So first Zach and Hall. second to win. Mr. Zach Hall, the catcher, number 34 up for the Indians. Zach Hall been hitting pretty good. Hit a hit a bomb the other night. So we'll see if he can add to this lead again. Two to nothing right now. Bottom of the first. Central on top and threatening to do more. No outs. First pitch for Norris. Hall taking all the way. Strike one. Again, it's frustrating for a, such a quality pitcher. This, you know, he gets a bad break or two, and they drop one in. There you go. But he's got to say he's he's going to stay focused, and he's got to get his job done. Right now, it's only two runs. That's right. See, I, That's I, I was, ball. yep, I was afraid that he didn't pause. He did not pause. When you when you get as a pitcher, if you're working fast and you're wanting to work fast, you can end up catching yourself doing that and get you. He's got he's got to take a deep breath and do his, do what he can do. So second and third, nobody out here in the bottom of the first. Norris back to the windup. Slow. It's one and one. One thing Norris can't do is hurt himself, you know, in the ball that's situation. Right. That's right. That's, that was he was trying to – good strategy. To, I think you, a pitcher that works fast causes trouble for the hitters, but you got to be wind-up pitch, one and one count, just a little low. You see, now he's getting a little frustrated out You can see. He's he getting is. upset. He needs to get him in out here. Two balls, one strike in the bottom second, second and third. Nobody out. Central with a three base hits. He's he's not hitting the marks now. Right, right. So three and one, a good this is a tough, tough pitch for him here. A very good hitter's count. He's gonna have to come with a strike, and Zach Hall should be setting dead red. And he missed it. Missed it. So in a walk. So all four first four hitters for the Indians have reached. Three hits and a walk. Courtesy runner number one going into the ball game. Take a first. Coming up for the Indians right now. Who we got? Mr. 13. Alexander. Austin Alexander will be the hitter. Jacob Ferris is a courtesy runner. All right. For Zach Hall. Just an eighth grader over there at first base. Norris first pitch hard fastball down the middle. There's what he's got to do right there. He brought that one, buddy. Strike one starts off Alexander with a strike. Field is in. Well, yeah, they're gonna. They don't want to get any farther behind. If they can cut a run off, they will. Working quick. Next pitch, foul back. Now Norris in a groove on this batter right here. Now what? Now Alexander, what he needs to do? He really, he's working fast. He needs to get in there, call time, make make Norris wait on him. Because if Norris gets to work fast, he's gonna he's gonna put him down. So again, bases loaded here in the bottom of the first. Central on top, two to nothing. No outs. 0-2. Off speed. That'll probably score a run. Deep That'll enough score to a center. run. Yeah. And throw should go right in the middle. There you go. The run score. So nice job for Alexander. Good job right there. Alexander flew out to Alexander and he got it in. So did his job. Nice piece of hitting. 
That was a good job. Make it out, get a run. I'll trade that all day long. Out. Trade that all. Now that's even though it gave him a run. That if that batter was a nice job by Norris. He got he focused. He he did he pitched his pitch yep. on that. So all right. Job so, Alexander down 0-2 yep, to yep, make battle, a productive yeah, out. Yeah. One down, Kevin first and Hall. second. Nick Cavanaugh the hitter now, 23. Again, one out, minute first and second. Only a runner advanced was the runner on third. Nice base running, no chances for the guy on second. Got one out. Norris from the stretch. Now, good play. Good by the catcher. Keep it in front of him. Yep. Miller did a good Ross, excuse me, Jonathan Ross. Nice job blocking that up. Two balls, no strikes. Three balls, excuse me. I thought they missed one. Kevin, I've seen that horse coming. He great pitch that. And then he's kind of come back and got behind. So he's going to battle back in this count here. You know, Kevin Hall's not swinging at this one. Nope. And he walked him. It's only ball three. Well, they had three up on there. I thought we, I thought I was right. I thought we were right, and it. We're gonna blame it on the box, because I was looking up there. I had two, and he threw yeah. three up there. So now, now we're three and zero, oh, guys. Three and oh. <laughs> Who we got in the box tonight? Doesn't matter. Uh, it's a walk. <laughs> <laughs> ball four. So Norris goes from a good at bat to kind of then losing his okay. focus there, and. Loads him up again. I know Norris is your main pitcher, but now he's in major, major trouble down three nothing, one down, bases loaded. When do you start a bullpen? When do you nah. start thinking about getting I think out? I think you see you work him here. You work him here because he is their stud. So I mean he's you know, they're showing him this game. They'll probably see him again in the district, so he's not gonna As expert is gonna be you know. the hitter. Because yeah, made a hitter for second. Okay. Oh, watch your lips. Hard foul ball over here to the dugout. You know, even Johnny Cueto and Clayton Kershaw has that bad game every now and then. This could be his bad game of the season. It's coming a bad time for the it Eagles. Is. See what he can do but here. Do you back. leave him out there to get rocked, though? Do you, what if he gives up six, eight runs this inning? You know? Yeah, then you, then you then have to do something. Then it kills his confidence he would have. Knowing him as a young man, it'd take a lot to hurt his confidence, but he'd be mad, but he'd want to come back. You're right, you wouldn't want him to go too far. Ball high and in. One and one's a count, one down, bases loaded for the Indians. Norris having a long first inning here. A lot of pitches he's had to throw. A lot of pitches. A lot of pitches. Now, you notice he does throw better in that windup. That's helped him. He walked the last batter four straight in the I don't believe he went. He took. Good job. Two and one. Good job by Swafford and good job by Norris. Almost making him go fish. So again, we're two and one's a count. Central on top, three to zero. Bottom of the first. The pitch. Taking for a ball. Must have been a little out. Well, when you're when you're struggling, you don't get the calls. Three and one, hitters count. Norris going to have to bring it. Swafford should be sitting dead red as we talk about here. He should be ready to unload if he can get it. He's taking this all the way. Pitch from the windup of Norris. Off speed, walks him. Going to have to be a visit to the mound here and talk to him in a minute. I think that's coming. Run walks in. That makes it four to zero. Who we got coming up for the Indians now? We're 32. The pitcher. Alex Georgia, we're going to take a break. Hans coming to the mound, trying to settle Norris down. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back. Madison County School Sports Television. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. County 
School Sports Television, Don Richardson Field, first game of the National Guard Invitational. Madison Central put up four here in the bottom of the first already, only one out and bases loaded. Madison Southern star Griffin Norris in a, little, in a, in a jam, definitely. He's going to try and work himself out of it. He needs to to help his confidence and his team. George with opposing pitcher to the plate. First pitch is a strike by Norris. He Field four nuts and be big if he could get yep. double, double play ball right yep. here. Yep. Needs to get some. He needs to realize he still doesn't do it all himself. 0 oh, 1 pitch to the plate. Strike two. So Hans, Hans trip to the mound. Hopefully calm Norris down a little bit and get him to just doing doing what he can do. There's some things he can't do anything about. So you just got to pitch and hit that mitt and find your spots. Off speed, just missed. Just missed. Didn't miss. It didn't miss by much. Didn't miss by much. One ball, two strikes. Bases loaded. Norris trying to work himself out of this jam. Pitch to Georgia. A dink. He should be able to get the out at home. And, they and he did. did. So he got nice play by Norris playing his position, running there. Did a little Omar Vizcaya, flipped it out of his glove. He did. That's the way I like it. <laughs> so we'll have a pinch runner for Georgia. We still got bases loaded, no run score. Now we're two outs. It's going to be Seth Richardson going out to be the pinch runner. Back to the top of the order for the Indians here, right? Ben Moore and leadoff hitter back to the plate. Yep. Single to lead off the game. So Norris down got two outs. Bases loaded still, so still far from out of the jam, especially with the top of the order up. Norris work hard here. Moore got a good hop single or a bad hop single, depending on which side of the field you are last time. Bad hop for the Eagles, good hop for the Indians. He starts out ball high. Norris with the next pitch. Good pitch. One on one's a count to Morn. It's a good matchup here. Two good experienced ball players. See what they can do. If you can get out of the inning and only give up four runs, that's a win. Exactly. All right, another ball missed. Two and one. I'd say Morn's really going to be aggressive up there this time. They've drawn some one. They're up four to nothing. Here's where you kind of come out of your shoes a little bit, get a little something tougher on there. Two to one is the count. Off speed pitch, good pitch. Morn was fooled on that one. He was setting it, but he wasn't setting for that. Two, two, and two. The deuces are wild. Two outs, four to nothing. Bags are full. Good pitch. And a base hit down the line. That's going to score two at least. Should be. Two are in. They're going to hold him at third. Yes. Nice piece of hit, and Morin just took that fastball. He's going over and drilled it down the left field line, and two runs scored. So we're six to nothing. Indians on top. Nice job. Nice piece of hitting by Morin. I believe he's a senior, if I'm not mistaken. That's a backbreaker for. That's tough. For if Griffin can, Norris. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Only a junior. Been Morin. Okay, Morin is okay. He's been playing forever. Central only has four seniors on their uh, roster. Now back to Holbrook, second batter. He's swinging aggressive early. Foul ball back. Again, Norris has just got to do what uh, do what he can, throw strikes, and not try to overthrow. Second and third is our runners, two out. Ball high, one to one. Long inning for the for the Eagles, and they've got to try and come back. You know, of course, they got demoralized with a base hit and get a guy picked off. One one, another off speed, just high, just missed, just missed. Just missed. Two down. Norse from the wind up. Good pitch. There you go. Holbrook reached on to her by the shortstop earlier in the inning. Yeah, that's close. That was the one that hit and run, correct? And they had that, and he had to go throw hard to first. Yeah. Well, yeah, he. Foul ball going to be out to play down the left field line. Oh, buddy, throw that. Should be two and two, I believe, shouldn't it? That was a strike last time, and then he fouled out and all. No, he's got at least two strikes, yeah. So two balls, our score, two strikes. Our scoreboard's off on us, I believe. Should be two and two. Pitch. Off speed. I got him. Struck him out. So a long inning for the Eagles, but Norse battle back. Got out of there. They've got to come in and make something happen. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. Madison County School Sports Television. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. Richmond Tourism. Pro Signs. CSEP. First Gear. 
and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. Sports fans, we're back, getting going in the top of the second for Madison Southern Eagles coming to the plate. Uh, tough, tough first inning. They're going to have to really battle back, try and get they get in here. Let's see, we got leading off. Who we got? We got Ty Shat, the second baseman. Uh, J.D. Meeks. Well, I've got Ty Shat leading off. They yeah. have number two leading off, so J.D. Meeks. Okay, well. Well, maybe I, I think I, you're right. I, I wrote down the line. Okay, wrong. all right. All right, Shat to the plate. Nothing better for a pitcher to come out and be able to uh, see that six, six run lead on. The board. He can really settle in. So George will should uh, you know be smooth and be able to work his game right here. First pitch was a ball. He Jones shows by but he'll pull around. I don't know. I guess not a fan of that little play. Doesn't do me any good. I, but anyway, through two ball two a little high. It's the last thing a pitcher needs to worry about. I think with the pitcher here, even with the big six-run lead, he needs to just go out, do his thing, get him out. Throw strikes. You know. Throw strikes. Let them put it in play. Depend That's on your fielders. To got seven guys behind him. and let them do something. No need to try. You're up. Like I said, you got the lead. Good. Foul ball back. Good pitch by George with that time. He kind of amped it up a little and... Shad could not catch up to it. To me, that's what that fake bunt does to you. Stand up there and you get used to doing that, and you stand there ready to watch the pitch. So 2-2, George will battle back. 6 nothing. Indians on top. Nice pitch. Oh, foul ball. Oh, okay, foul ball. So I thought, well, he didn't run, but it was he tipped it. Foul We're still 2-2. Here's the count. Sorry, Drew. Alex Georgia, two and two from the wind up. Shat working the count. Ground ball to the shortstop. Nice play that time. Nice job, got him. Good play, Madison Central. Good job. Good pitch, Alex. Shortstop, Mr. That's a Gordon, Ryan Gordon. He is the extra hitter or extra player. He's not hitting with the play there. Nice job. Fundamentals right there. You just make the easy play. Don't try to, you know, get them out. Don't do anything special. Again, up six to nothing. You want to try and just do, keep no. it to a minimum. Now we got Meeks, correct? Now we got Lucas Owens, 34 Owens. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at yours. You wrote down wrong. Yeah, 34. Lucas. I'm going to quit looking at yours. You know, I have just right. wrote it all down wrong. <laughs> Lucas Owens to the plate, 34. First pitch is a strike. Good. Second pitch is a strike. Nice off pitch pitch. Had him fooled. He was out in front and couldn't have done anything with it if he wanted to. Uh, 0 2's account. George will 2 Lucas Owens. Speed it up. Ooh, just missed. Too close for me to take. But he had better eyes than I did. So ball one. One ball, two strikes. Again, Madison Center on top six to nothing here in the top of the second. Off speed pitch just missed again. Well, Owens is way out in front. So I mean, even if that would have been anywhere near the swing, he yeah. would not have been able to do anything with I was it. Notice that. Look how yeah, far up in was, the box he is. He was like, please, please be a ball. Next pitch. If you Ooh. look, he's even coming out of the box yeah, when he swings. He yeah. Umpire took a rough one to the face there. Counts two and two. Georgia working with a big lead here in the top of the second. Lucas Owens trying to get on base for the Eagles. He's battling. Foul trade back. Watch your windshield. What Georgia wants to make sure and do as well is, you know, hopefully not to throw too many pitches, keep his arm fresh, keep him off the base pads. Two and two pitch. Six is bad out. Good job. Right to him there. To the second baseman for the Indians. That's Mr. Cablin. Hunter Cablin. Smooth play for the easy throw to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the 
top of the second. Now the pitcher for the Eagles, Griffin Norris, coming to the plate. See if he can help his cause here. They think extending it in a little bit. Yeah. Ball outside. All they want, they don't need a one, two, three, quick inning. No. Put him back on the Nothing, mound. That's right. Get something happen. See if he can get a, something going to get his teammates to maybe push him around. First pitch was a strike. Second on the way. Popped him up. In the infield should be. Cablin's called that at second. That's a great and that's a good inning. A real good inning to throw an egg after going up, putting six on the board. That's that's kind of demoralizing. That's tough. They've got a Southern's going to have to keep work to coming back. So we're going to take a break. Going into the top or going into the bottom of second. Madison Central still on top, six to zero. And the Indians coming to the plate. Madison County School Sports Television. We'll be back. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. Richmond Tourism. Pro Signs. CSEP. First Gear. And Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. We're back, going into the bottom of the second. Madison Central with big lead, six to nothing. Griffin North still on the mound, and who we got coming up for the Indians here? Hunter Cablin, singled in the first, drove in two runs. And for one. First pitch, short. I'm glad, I'm glad Cablin didn't listen to his teammates over there. First pitch, gonna be a fastball. <laughs> You've been way off on that one. That was. Yeah, a... been looking <laughs> ugly. One ball, no strikes to Cablin. Norris comes. Straight. Good pitch. Again, Norris has got to be mentally strong right here and just do what he can do. What Norris needs to do is just go after the hitters and let them put the ball in play. So he's, wor he's working Take the fast. Chance, I mean. Good off speed pitch, off speed pitch, excuse me, just a little outside. Two balls, one strike to Kaplan. He's not going to be able to strike everyone out, so he's going to have to have right. faith in his right. fielders to make the play for him. So. Good pitch. Right back up the middle. Schaus, smooth with the grounder. High throw, but Dixon gets him. Good job. That's a confidence builder for Norris. Kaplan grounds out. Yep. I mean, it's the little things right now for the Southern defense. You know, get the easy out because they haven't been doing it this season. I mean, baseball is that. You've got to make the fundamental easy plays behind your pitcher. You know, and I'm not picking on the first play, but, you know, you've you got to block that one ball to keep it first and second. You know, little things. I was watching a game yesterday. Yes, yes, El Puig dropped a pop-up. Yeah, he did. Then he makes a play over his head. He's a freak. He is Josh an absolute Wright is going to come play now. Single his first at bat. But, you know, it's the little things. you just got to make the little plays. Starts off 1-0 is the count. Here comes Norris with the next pitch. A little high. I had a coach once say, if you do the little things, all the big things take care of themselves. There you go. So. Josh Wright in the count, 1-1. One one. I thought it was 2-0. Oh. One of them must Maybe be not. He must have. All right, we'll go with the scoreboard. I don't know. He's calling one, two. So. Okay, all right. One ball, two strikes. So Josh in the hole here with two strikes. It's up. It up. Straight back. Two and two. One and two still, excuse me. Norris work, looking a little smoother right now. Again, he's in rhythm. You know, he got the first batter out, not trying to force anything. See if he can throw an egg against the Indians now. Nice there we go. Went down and got that one. Nice piece of hitting, right? That pitch was low, out of the zone. But he nice. went down and got it. A lot of left-handers like that low pitch, and he liked that one. He went right down and The catcher is that call. Mr. Hall. Walked in the first inning. He did. I think he even said something to me over here in between innings. He said some what first pitch looked good, but he did the right thing. They had already had, I think, what, second and third, and nobody yeah. out. You don't want to be overly aggressive there. You want your runs. Don't want right. to kill a rally, kill a 
you want to make innings. them work more. So he did the right thing. Especially when you got a stud pitcher on the mound. Make him work. Yeah. I'd say he'll be ready to make unload when he gets his pitch here. Griffin throws over to first, right? Dies back in plenty of time. Again, we are bottom of the second. Six to nothing, Madison Central on top. Pitch to Paul. A little, little off speed pitch. Wasn't what he wanted. Looked like he was a little fooled on that one yep. as he turned away yep. from it. But. Yeah, he didn't want that one. He's going to probably want that, that heater down the middle. So we got no balls, one strike to Mr. Hall. Norris comes to the, uh, the stretch. The delivery. Who it by him that time? Going back down to first. Good play. Down 0 2 now in the count. Is that call? Jonathan Ross shoot it down there, but Wright was ready. Hall in a little bit of a hole now. He's going to cut down. Need to cut down his swing. Just get a good, get Token some meat on the ball. Here. Yep. Make contact. Try and move him over. One out. Play. Bottom of the second. Pitch. Uh, fooled him. Fooled him with the breaking pitch. Fooled him with the breaking ball. We've got two down here. Griffin's come out looking really good this inning to start the inning. Yes. 13, Austin Alexander, left footer, comes in. Had the sack flies first at bat. So officially 0-0. Zero zero there you go. With the RBI. Norse looking to get out of this third, this second inning with no damage. First pitch. Swing good, good. Yes. good. Had him fooled. That's the Griffin Norse I've heard about. I haven't seen him pitch this season. That's the Norse I've heard about. He's really mixing him up now. He's settled in. Just uh, he's gonna have to keep it. You know, can't get behind any further if his team has any type of shot. Well, Southern down six nothing. They come in the game only averaging three runs a game. So. Six to zero is our score, bottom of the second. Madison Central in the bottom second, two outs, man on first. Norris looking to get out of this second inning with no damage. High ball one. As we said, a battle of the 44th district. Yeah. Yeah. And once already this season, Central winning, opening night. Uh, final of 14 to two at Madison Southern. The pitch, he's going, right, it's going. He's in easy. Good throw. Oh, ah. Stay. No, oh, he's going to test it. He's going to get down. Good base running. The center field backup was slow getting there. Um, Wyatt was kind of got caught watching. Of course, it went through the second baseman and the shortstop. But Wyatt was uh, a little short getting there. And so Wright was able to get up and make his way to third. So now Central threatening again. One ball and two strikes, I believe. Norris going to have to try and work out of this one himself. Long fly ball should be caught. Should be caught. It's key word Two on that one. Two outs. That'll end it. All right. Southern gets out of there with no more runs given up. We'll be back in a few minutes. Madison County School Sports Television coming in the top of the third. We'll be back. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. Madison County School Sports Television here at Madison Central High School, Don Richardson Field. First game of the uh, Kentucky National Guard Invitational, and Central with a pretty good strong hold here coming in the top of the third. They're up 6-0. to zero. Uh, First inning got all the runs against uh, the Eagles ace, Norse. He got in a little bit of trouble and didn't get some help behind him, and before you know it, it's 6-0. But he threw an egg that inning, and Southern going to try here in the top of the third, leading off who we got. 
It's Jacob Dixon, the first baseman. Southern's going to have to try to get a couple runs here, a couple runs Something. there. You know, don't try to get them all back at once. Got to put some pressure on them. If you're Southern, you just need to get one put or two. Put some pressure now. on them. Yeah. Yep. First pitch was low for Georgia. Shows that bunt, takes it, pull back. 2 0. Oh. Hearing a little bit of life over in the Eagle dugout, and that's what they got to have. They can't, you know, have to keep battling. This is a long game. Anything can happen. 2 0 -oh pitch. Right down the middle. There you go. Again, we've said it how many times already. Georgia's got to just keep throwing strikes. Throw strikes. Let him put it in play. Yep. And make, make his defense do something. That's right. He got three plays behind him last inning. Two ground balls and a pop-up. So Hit the short. Oh. Nice play. Nice play. Take it. Good job. Gordon, nice job with the glove. Number 17. That makes it, you know, I never was a pitcher. I was that guy at first, you know, maybe yep. playing some middle. But it's got, you know, I hear him talk about how confident they are as a pitcher in general. But if you've got guys making plays behind you, yeah. it's, you just feel invincible. Yeah. So leadoff batter's down. Center fielder, Donnie Wyatt. Donnie Wyatt, a lot of speed, and he may very well bunt. But uh, he showed it, pulled it back, trying to draw a ball. Georgia right down the middle with a strike. Getting on top, buddy. Getting on top. Having all in on the grass at third. First baseman back. Pulls on the, the ground to tough short. Play in the middle. Gordon, tough play. He's nice running. Job. He's Woo! That was close. That was a good got call. Him. Got him. Can we do are we allowed to do the replay? We can't go to the box for the replay. I don't done. think we have a replay, but that was a good call. It was call. close. It was good, close. Good play for both. Nice job close, by the, the right shortstop. Call. He uh, he charged it, got the good hop, made a good Mr. throw. Mr. Hahn giving him the evil eye over here to the box, but yeah. it was a good call. Well, I don't blame him. I'd want it, too. It was awful close. He should shouse back up. He flew out. Back to the top. Back to the top here. Start the game. And he's First pitch swinging. Again. Hit deep to left. But I believe we're under control, so a quick inning for Georgia. Flew out to Alexander in left field. Nice job. That's that's a good inning. He didn't throw about nine, nine pitches or so, did he? he Don, not many. He didn't pitch many. All right, quick inning right there. We're coming back for the bottom of the third. He's going to come back trying to add to this lead. Madison County School Sports Television. We'll be back. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, and by Tatum Enterprises. Some County School Sports Television going into the bottom of the third. Who we got leading off for the Indians? Nick Cavanaugh, third baseman. Drew a walk last time. Is that what you told yep. me? Walk right. first to bat. All right. Norris still on the mound for the Eagles. First pitch. High strike. Oh, yep, got him. So Norris trying to settle in here. Threw an egg there in that second inning. That big six still looming up on there. Hard to overcome that. 0-1 pitch. Off speed. Got him. Breaking across that outside corner. Nice pitch in there. Nice job. Kavanaugh way in a hole here. Going to have to shorten up a little bit. Trying to make some contact. North stepped it up a notch or two there. A little outside. One now, ball, North strikes. had that error by the shortstop first inning. You know, yep. Things could have went a little different. Yep. As it is, it is 6-0. One-two pitch. Off speed. Ground ball up the middle. Who's got it? Second baseman should have it. Can he get it? Dixon with a stretch, stayed on the bag. Nice play over there. Second baseman, Ty Shatt with a good play for the Eagles. 
thought Dixon had stretched a little too early, but he, he stayed did. on there. He did. I was going to say, first baseman He's didn't have to stretch, <laughs> I don't believe. Not that quick. You, gotta, it, you, you do have to do it. I make know. it harder than you have to, boys. But he kept his foot on there. Good job. So, a good play. Eagles. Norris getting a little defense behind him. Nice job. Swafford. Isaac Swafford, the hitter. He walked and got an RBI walk. First pitch swinging. Norris trying to get in a groove here. Swafford going after the first pitch. I like the aggressiveness. He's going to, like I said, now Griffin Norris is going to, Norris is going to try and work him quick, so he needs to Step get, out his the set, box get just, him set, make, yeah. him, make him wait on him. That's a, a duel right here. Nice pitch right down the middle. Strike two. Norris trying to settle in a little bit, give his team a chance. He's held him scoreless that second inning. See if he can do it again. One out, 0-2 pitch. Fouled off. It'll stay 0-2. Got enough of it to stay alive. Again, bottom of the third. Madison Center on top, six to zero. All the damage coming that first inning. Yep. A few hits, one error, and a couple walks, and bingo, it's six zero. Swafford ready. Norris coming to him from the windup. Off-speed pitch, just missed. Ooh. Just missed. Nice pitch. That's Don't what you, know where it missed that, but that's it was what there. You, well, that's what you want as an 0-2. You wanted to make it look good, make a guy fish, but that was a good. Now the 1-2. Norris going to Swafford. Sped it up a little bit. Swafford battling right there. Nice job. Got just enough. That's all he's got to do. Choke, shorten up a bit and make contact. Another 1-2 another pitch coming from Norris. Just missed outside again. Good at bat by Swafford. Either, either way, this turns pitches, out. Yeah. yeah, good at bat. He's being patient. Two and two is the count. Norris looks in, coming to wind up. Good piece of hitting the gap. Why well, I got a late jump on it. He did. He didn't see it. it oh, falls. he did. Yeah, he got a late jump. Swafford going for two. He'll He's be in, in there. there. Yeah, I, that. He got, almost, a late, he got a late jump or something, almost like didn't he? He thought he was going deeper than he thought. Know. He went back and then he came forward. When I looked, he wasn't moving at the ball. And no. then he, I mean, he's probably the fastest guy out here, but he, the, the he break on it. He misplayed it. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he misread it coming off the bat. All right, so uh, it's going to be going down as a two-out double. Um, didn't get close enough to make it. He got a glove on it, but that wouldn't be an error, but no. he, he did misplay it. So who we got up now for the end? He's got number 32. Pitcher. Pitcher? Alex Al Georgia. Alex, Alex Georgia. Fullest choice is first to bat. One out. First pitch swinging. He was fooled on that one. Yeah, he was a little. George will miss that one. Man on second, one out. 0-1's the count. Central on top, 6-0 to zero in the bottom of the third. Trying to add to it. George will trying to help himself right here. Norris from the stretch, off speed. Nice pitch. Big loop and curve ball. George will be expecting that fastball again, and he fooled him. Way ahead in this count. And he needs to go ahead and get the, this out pretty quick. This is one he wants to go and get the out and then work for that third one. Nice job. He did did what he had to do right there. And Georgia, he's fine. He comes in, he's got a six hole lead, keep throwing strikes. He got behind on that fooled on those first two pitches and he was kinda in no man's land. So Top of the right. lineup. Top of the lineup. Ben Moore, a single a double, two RBIs. Ben Moore's having a day right now. Norris is gonna have to work hard. I would say he won't give him anything too good. Of course a good hitter on deck as well, but he's gonna make sure he tries to starts him off with a nice breaking pitch for a strike. Swafford on second with a one out double. Trying to push across another run. Top of the order, Ben Morin against Griffin Norse. 0 1's account. Nice pitch. Fooled him. Fooled him a little bit there, too. So, way up in the count here. And here's where you've got to be a pitcher, Donald. You, you, you're not a thrower. You've got to be a pitcher here. You've got a great hitter to play, great pitcher on the mound. So, you've got to make some pitches to get him out and get to the dugout. I say an old two, you don't even nibble. You just go after nope. him. Nice job. That's shallow. That's going to be tough. They're playing him deep. Oh, Texas Leaguer drops in and a run will score. Well, Morin does what he has to. He makes contact, and that's all that was. Griffin threw a nice pitch. Norris did, did his job, and he just, you know, nice job. So a big two out, a big one out double by Swafford. He got in score position, and the, the leader on the team, Morin, drives him in, and we're at 7-0. to zero. Bottom you an of the error third. on that play? No, absolutely not. No, I don't even think he got a glove on it. He got it on a bounce, but no, that's a base hit. Texas leaguer right in there. 
Fouled straight back. Holbrook. North still battling. Eagles trying to come back here, see what they can get done. In a hole right now, they're going to have to have to get something, stop them here. Two down, bottom of the third. Holbrook 0 for 2. Or reached on an and then struck out. There we go. Moore in first base. Norris from the stretch looking at him. Oh, got him. Got him with an off-speed pitch. I would say he was too worried. Moore probably not going to run much up 7-0. They're not going to do that, but he was worried about him, and that's the first time he's come close to hitting anybody, so he just kind of, I think that slipped out of his hand. But for Holbrook, he'll take it. It was a nice uh, off-speed pitch, yeah. so well, it didn't get him too bad. That's right. High. That's right. All right, who we got now, Donald? Hunter Cablin. Mr. Cablin at the plate again. One for two, two RBI single. Got a chance to add to this lead. Two outs, seven to nothing. Oh, that's, that's going to move the runners up. Wild pitch. Yeah. So they'll both move up. Couldn't tell from this angle. Go either way. Either way, it got by either him. Way. Either way, it got by him. And so now we got second and third. Two runners again in scoring position for Cablin. And Cablin's a three hole hitter. That's his job to do drive in runs. So let's see if Norris goes back. He gets to go back to his windup. Let's see if he can get him out of here. Good pitch. That's a, that's a, if he can get the, that pitch is tough to hit. That's about the knees, a little out, some good velocity, but that's a tough pitch if he can get that one. One one's a count. Try to go. Oh, we're going to get a run. Going to have a run score. Now that's going to be a pass ball. I guess that was just too far out. He got his arm on it. The catcher, Ross, got his arm on it, but just, that was just a, so there, the base running, putting pressure on somebody and getting somebody in front of you, that, that's tough on a pitcher when you get, you know, you got to get some strikes in and you got that guy on third trying to breathe down your throat. So another run across the Indians, 8-0 to zero here in the bottom of the third. Good pitch low, just missed. Now he's missing low. He's three and one. Hitters count right here. Captain's going to, I would say, set dead red right here if I was a betting man. Running on third, two outs. He was setting it. Good wow. play that time of the catcher, Ross. Well, Ross Cablin, has lost it. Yeah, they talked to him. They talked to him. Cablin is a good hitter, and Norris knew that, so he probably knew he was setting a dead red, and he wasn't going to give anything good. And in this case, he'd probably take the walk and go ahead and get to our next hitter. Going to be going to be right, I believe. Got you right. Two for two, two single stolen bases, and one stolen base. Big at bat right here all the way around, Donald. See if they try anything first and third. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of stealing bases way up, but with first and third situation, you'll take that. Take that. Oh, that's deep. That may be deep to left. Oh, right to him. Curtailed right back to him. So right flies out to the left fielder, Alexander. And Southern gets out of there with only two runs scored against him. So we're going into the top of the fourth. Madison Central on top, 8-0. to zero. Madison County School Sports Television will be back. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, and by Tatum Enterprises. Sports fans, we're back. Madison County School Sports Television. We're heading into the top of the fourth with Madison Central on top of Madison Southern. Eight to zero, heading into the top of the fourth here at the Kentucky National Guard Invitational. Central handling things right now, and Georgia was in a groove. He's just throwing. Who's up? Big Connor Buchanan leading off the fourth. Buchanan with the singled for the first hit of the game, then was picked off. Yeah. 
Nice job of hitting good line drive off of Georgia last time. So let's see what he can do the second time around. Takes the first pitch strike. Buchanan, good baseball hitter, good good player. And he just kind of got anxious there at first. He's pretty aggressive base runner and got caught. 0-1 goes after a bad pitch there. So he's now in the hole, 0-2. Georgia with a good smart pitch there. He, he got, got Buchanan to chase. So now Buchanan is going to be the smart hitter and shorten up a little. Just make some contact. See if he can get one in a gap. Pitch. Hanging tough. That's way too good. I hear them talking in the dugout. They wanted that pretty much in the dirt or hit the back screen. With they don't want, don't give them anything at 0-2 pitch. You really want to make it bad. Like I said, that was too good of an 0-2. Georgia won the wind up. 0-2 to Buchanan. Buchanan, that's trouble. No, I believe. Yeah, short called off. Oh, oh. Uh, he called him off and yeah. he couldn't make play. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Left fielder for Central came in. I said Alexander, actually, last time Meeks made that play in left field at the end of the other end, I said the wrong left fielder. Alexander there came in. He called Gordon off. He did. And I think Gordon, I Gordon, think Gordon had, had a better beat yeah, on that than it. he did. Yeah, I said the wrong fielder. Excuse me for the mishap at the end of the last inning. Meeks made that play at the end of the inning. So that's going to have probably be an error. He had a long yes. run. He made a dive. It depends on how generous, the, my boy. how generous the scorekeeper is because he did dive and come a long way. First pitch is a ball. Jonathan Ross, the catcher, he walked his first at bat. Georgia from the stretch, first one is a ball. Now we had our old boy Dino back in the day. Ain't no way that he hit. Dino was a tough scorekeeper, boy. Wouldn't give you nothing. I wouldn't oh. give it to you either. Woo. Connor, Connor, <laughs> Connor back a little loose there on that one. Georgia's got a good move, but. He gets picked off again. He might be walking yeah, back to yeah. Berea. Yeah, and right now that ain't nothing. There's no, you know, no chances you take here. So You're down eight. You need every base runner you can get. Jonathan Ross heading the count 1-0. Georgia with the pitch. Ross with a grounder foul down the left side. Evens the count 1-1. Boy, Connor got down there quick. He's he's faster than his daddy too, I believe. He got, got a good jump on that one. So Ross trying to keep him going here. We got a leadoff base runner. Buchanan at first, Ross the catcher in the three hole trying to drive him around. Good pitch, good pitch. That was one of those good low one outside, get the corner, hard pitch to hit. Ross didn't like that call. It looked good. <laughs> he turned around, he didn't like that one bit. He, he thought, ain't much he can do about it. He one and two. Low. <laughs> one and two's are count. Georgia with the pitch, good stop, good stop. Ooh, got him leaning. Nice play, Hall. Zach Hall with a really good play right there. Good job. Bell got caught in no man's land there. Connor was going to go over his bye, but he was far enough to get back. Plenty of time. Real good play with the catcher, Zach Hall. That's, that's another important confidence builder for a pitcher. When you know you can throw it anywhere, and that guy's going to get it. All-speed pitch, got him. That was a good pitch. There wasn't no question that one. He was just fooled and stuck. Wasn't nothing he could do. Once that pitch had broken, he decided not swing, and he was done. All right, big, big Devin Vanover, big hitter for the Eagles, is up. See what he can do here, number 25. 0 for 1, struck out. Okay, yeah, he got fooled on that one pitch early. So we got one out. Buchanan at first. George will try to stop anything from getting going. Fastball down the middle, strike one. Again, we're 8 to 0 here in the top of the fourth. Indians with a commanding lead, trying to just count outs, basically. Porter from the stretch, throw one. Piece of hitting a little behind it, pushed it way foul down the right the field line. Player. Yeah, that was. Porter got a hit again, way on top, two, two strikes, no balls. Van over way in the, down in the county, going to cut something down here and try and make some contact. Ooh, ooh. That was a better, where he missed that. better pair of eyeballs than I got. That looked good, but then nobody complains. It must have been us. So, good piece of good piece of batting for Vanover. One and two is a count. Buchanan with his lead at first. Good. Stuck him out got in the dirt. Yep, can't go. Can't, can't go. It's one out. Runner on first. With when not with two outs. I guess he could have gone with two outs, right? If there's two, he could have run. He could have went if the well, guy had been on first. Well, but if there's two outs, he can run in that. With we out first, you can't run less than two outs. But if there's two outs, you can run. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, he's out. He's out either way. Meeks, 0 for one. 
again, I did Meeks a disservice last inning. He was the one who made that catch in left field, and I didn't give him the credit, but we'll give it to him. Two down. Our scoreboard's quit working up there, so we got two down here. Line drive. Oh, good play. good play. Yes, sir. Nice job. That right over there at first base, I believe. Yes, sir. No, I'm sorry. Holbrook. Joe Holbrook. That wrong fella. Nice That's job. Right. He read that. And, of course, you know, he never never even has a chance at that play if they're not holding him on. You know, he's that's in right. front. If he's back in the rugged yeah, position, yeah, that's, basically, yeah, that's, just a, that's a great play. All right, we're going in the bottom of the fourth. Madison Central on top, 8-0. Madison County School Sports Television. We'll be back. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com Linville Insurance Time Warner Cable Madison County Schools Richmond Tourism Pro Signs CSEP First Gear and Rosenbaum Communications This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. We have got uh, Madison Central way on top, 8-0. To got a pitch and change for the Eagles, Don. We got Connor Buchanan has come in to the mound from right field. They've moved the left fielder Meeks to right field. Griffin Norris has gone to shortstop, and our shortstop Shouse is in left field for the Eagles. So Okay. <laughs> no, but nobody came, no new came in, but just moved them around. Who we got? Zach Hall at the Zach plate. Zach Hall at the plate. Leading off the inning. Strike out. And a walk, Strike out right? A walk. Yep. Buchanan starts out with a ball, just a little outside. So see if Buchanan can keep this uh, plug in the dam here. Low ball two. It wasn't the outing the Eagles were looking for. No, no, I mean, they, they wanted to make, you know. But they'll get a shot at them later, and they just got to keep improving. They're awful young. 2-0 pitch, high ball three. This is where Buchanan has got. He's got to, to throw strikes. I mean, that's it's got to be right now. Even if they hit it, you know, not the, obviously three zero, but you've got to make something. You can't give up any more easy stuff. Got him a strike. There we go. Three and one's the count. To Zach Hall, the big catcher for the Indians. A couple of nice stops last inning on some on some pitches. Swing and a foul tip back. So Buchanan works the count back to full. Big first out, first batter for Buchanan. 3-2 pitch. Got him swinging. Got him swinging. Big first out by him. Austin Alexander yeah. to the plate. Oh, for oh, one. That, one. That, was a, that was a tough, you know, that was one of them. Do you take strike three? It was a little outside, but you got to be aggressive there with two strikes. Well, up eight nothing, you can be a little aggressive. That's true. One down. Buchanan with the next batter. And a high strike. Strikes. Yep. Indians come into tonight's game averaging six runs a game. So they've topped that. that yeah. Shot back up the middle. Base hit. Base hit by Norris. Shot by Alexander down up in the up the middle. Get Kavanaugh to the plate, 0 for 1 with a walk. So Central gonna try and just, you know, keep hitting, hit hit move some of these guys around. If you're central, you're looking to get that magic number of 10. Yep, yep. Is it, Ends this one early. Is it 10 after 5? Yes. Is that the high school rule? Pitch high, shoots down. Alexander wasn't going nowhere. 
No, I don't believe he is. No. I know. Kavanaugh trying to get the runner advance, see if they can sneak a couple more on the on the board. Buchanan with the old one and old pitch coming. He is going. He's going. They got him. They get the tag down. Yes, they got him. Hmm. Nice job. Nice throw down by the catcher Ross. So that erases the the base runner. Not a big fan of him running there. Two outs now. Kavanaugh with a 1-1 count. Trying to start it over. Good curve ball. And he rips it right back up the middle. He was setting that one. Oh, going two. Oh, how would he cut it? Good hustle that time. I'm surprised. I thought he did why did I got caught up by one of the players when he did Wyatt bobble it out there. I was did looking he down. Just go right he, off the, he must have bobbled it because. Because he didn't even, he hardly slowed down coming around first. Hardly even slowed down. And like you said, they cut it for whatever yeah. reason. Yeah, yeah. I, I usually you don't cut unless they holler it. So two outs, runner scoring position for the Indians again. Isaac Swafford. One for one with the walk. RBI double. Last he, bat. he got that big, the st they were about to go with an egg that inning, and he got that double out there and mm -hmm. got them going. So those two out hits do a lot of damage for you, man, especially or scoring two out runs for sure. Oh, yeah. That guy, it's another demoralizing thing. One over the count, Buchanan, two Swafford. Kavanaugh on second. Going They're throwing down, second. down at him. No chance. Trying to keep him close. He took second, he could take third, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Two O's a count. Now he might, because he's switching from the wind up there. He's yeah, going. Kavanaugh, Kav good he's job of Kavanaugh. Is. Good job of Kavanaugh. Ka Buchanan forgot what he was in, was throwing from the, now that right there, now I know he did, he did that wrong, but you've got a pitcher, or you got a first baseman, you got a third baseman, yeah. you got a catcher. That catcher's got to jump up there and let him know Step off, step off, and or no, step off because yeah. you're in the windup. Yeah. So, just a minimal state dugout's got to help you. I mean, that's just fouled back left field. So that you know, agree that was Buchanan's decision, but he's got teammates that have got to yeah, got to help him out. I mean, I, I, that, that's that's something that players don't do enough of today. Is no. Enough chatter, enough talking to each other. I always was real quiet when I played Donald. You believe that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're probably about as quiet as I was. <laughs> two and two, fouled off again. Oh. Nice battle up here right now for Swafford. Two and two and two out. Swafford's had a good game right here. He battled, like I said, that, two, that double he had earlier and then battling this this, this at bat. Buchanan trying to get him out of out of this inning. Runner at third. Got him. Fooled him that time. He battled so well, that was surprised he got that and by him. So, all right, we go on the top of the fifth. No runs that time for the Indians. We're still eight to zero. Madison County School Sports Television. We'll be back in a few minutes. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. Baseball fans, we're back. Madison County School Sports Television. We're here at Don Richardson Field at Madison Central High School. Opening game of the Kentucky National Guard Invitational. Madison Central with a big lead on the Madison Southern Eagles. 8-0. to zero. We're heading into the top of the fifth. And Mr. George will still on the mound. Who we got coming up? Mr. Meeks. J.D. Meeks into the box for the Eagles. 
Nope. I'm Lucas sorry. Owens. There we go. See, hey, I messed up once. Lucas Owens. 0 for 1. One and old pitch. Low ball two. I owed Meeks another name shout out since I did mess up that left field one, so we'll go. Well, <laughs> I've made it up to him now. Now I can't. I'm good. Got the right. Southern players up at the dugout yep. now, trying to show gotta some life. Something. But now Georgia, he's got to come here. Two and zero starts out. And uh, boy, I'm surprised he's won. Lucas went way up, up top, up the steps to get that one, up the ladder to get that pitch. But he lined right it over the shortstop. So I figured for sure he'd be taken. But I like the aggressiveness. I'd rather see that than. Yes. Sitting there doing nothing. So at least show some life, you know. Right. So a leadoff hit here in the top of the fifth. Southern Southern, they're not not done. Who we got? Griffin Norris coming Norris up now. Up. 0 for one. He's not pitching. He's at the shortstop position. So now he can concentrate on hitting. And sometimes He's that's a show little. Bunt. He ain't button. I don't think so. I wouldn't. He's think not down eight nothing. He's not button. No. All right. Good pitch. George got on top. Dusty Baker might bunt. <laughs> he not this year. Not this year he is. <laughs> he throw over. Owens back plenty of time. George will just let him know he's, he knows he's over there. Again, Southern's going to be as aggressive as they can without being crazy. I say just go after the hitter. And yep, that's all Central needs to do. Right correct. Now, just get it going. Counting outs. I believe he went. Yes, he did. I believe it was a strike anyway. So, yep. Either way. Norse down in the count. Down in count 0-2. See if he can. No balls and two strikes. Norse going to choke up a little bit. Choke his swing. Throw over again. Owen's not doing anything. Too much worry about the runner. No. He ain't going nowhere. Even if he does, it's a moot point. If Norris can work his hands here, get a good swing. Get some contact. Struck him Ooh, out. yep. Took that one. Yeah. He didn't complain much. I think it was a little towards the outside of the plate, but you got to be swinging that with two strikes. Could have been low, yeah. could have been wide. Yeah, well, 0 2, and if it's close, man, you got to take it. Yeah, you got to get, swing the, at it. Get, to, get to chucking. All right, one down. First baseman, I think. Who we Jacob got? Jacob Dixon. Jacob Dixon at the for plate. One. A lot of offers on this Southern Ball Club tonight. Got a lot of, oh, good throw. You can kind of, like I said, you get a little looser with your throws there. You're up 8 nothing. You can kind of. Well, if he's going to play, if he's going to get that far off the base. You might as well make him, yep. Get him back. First pitch was a ball. To Dixon. George will pitch. Ground, Ground ball to the short. short. Nice play by Gordon. Oh, and he threw it away. He just didn't step on that back foot. Owens is going to get to go to third. We're going to be first and third. Nice, nice play on the grounder. He made did a nice job getting to it, but as he turned, he didn't pivot. He tried to throw on a run, and it just sailed. He kept his elbow, didn't get his elbow up, and sailed right over Cablin at second. So, first error of the game for the Indians. That's bad. I hate that, too, because that was a nice get by the young man. Well, I think he thought he had more time than he did when he was looking at second, but. <laughs> then he looked and hucked it. All right, Donnie White, Donnie center White. fielder up for the Eagles. and Ooh, for one. Trying to one out here, first and third. Central got their play put on. Let's see what Southern tries to do against. We're going to try and make something happen and see what Central does. Kevin on in at third base on the grass. Well, he's probably going to go. Third, so let's, oh, it's a bun our way. <laughs> we need to, right there with that first and third situation, obviously they're going to run. And what, what play is Central going to do? Are they going to throw straight through and get the runner? They're going to try and stop the run, throw back the third, or just a hard throw to the pitcher or the yeah. shortstop cutting across the middle. Yeah. <laughs> throw back to the with pitcher. White. I say you just throw it back to the pitcher. Well, that's showing the bunt. Let's see if he's going to stick with it. we got one strike. He's the drop back swing. Foul Could ball, right line, right field line. Going to be out of play. 0-2. White way down in the count again, way behind. So Central going to have to work out of a little bit of a jam here, try and keep their shutout going. 0-2, one out. First and third of your base runners for the Eagle. Eagles, top of the fifth. Georgia way ahead on wide, 0-2. The pitch. Runner's going. He's Can throwing throw down, down to get him. Get the out. Nice job. Nice job. That call with a BB down to second. And they get him. They get 
Dixon running now. Looks like Dixon slowed up, like he didn't think they were going to throw down or something. I mean. Well, sometimes you have that play, Donald, that they might he might stop to get in a rundown. But I would have thought if, if if you see this throw go through, I thought you automatically go here. Struck him oh, out. Oh man, they're going to get a run ball. on that. Oh man, tough break there. Tough break. So the Eagles get on the board with a wild pitch pass ball strikeout, and Wyatt gets to first and the run. Run score. Yep. Eight to one now. So they a sense got a break. Obviously, Madison, run, but it's Madison, a run. Madison Southern got a break, clearly. But that's that old first and third play. Usually that throw goes through yeah, and that you, runner needs to go here. Yeah. But didn't work out that way, but they got it. Eastern Shouse 0 for 2, leadoff hitter. George will kind of pumped it up a little bit there and threw it right by him. No balls, one strike. They're in the top of the fifth. See what they can do. Shouts the leadoff hitter. Oh, nice pitch. Boy, he was fooled. Fooled both get, of them. Could have swung twice on that one, couldn't you? he? What, did the runner yeah. go back to first? Or did fool him to fool? Is that who you're saying? No, I said it fooled oh. him twice. Oh, yeah. He's been fooling both pitches. <laughs> yeah. 0 oh, 2, two outs. And they got, got him. Again. So the Eagles get one across. 8 to 1 is our score. Kind of a bad break for the Indians, but the Eagles got something going. So we're going in the bottom of the fifth. Madison Central on top, 8-1. to one. Madison County School Sports Television. We'll be back. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. Baseball fans, we're back, heading to the bottom of the fifth. Madison Central still commanding lead, eight to one. Southern pushed one across there in the top of the fifth and see if that can carry over to some momentum for him on the defensive side. Connor Buchanan still on the mound. He'll be facing here. In Alex, the, the pitcher, Alex, Alex Georgia. Yep. Oh, for two. Struck out his last yep. at bat. Yep. So Buchanan, good job starting out with a strike on Georgia. Central's got top of the order, so Connor Buchanan's going to have his work cut out for him here this inning. He needs to get this first out here, the last batter in the lineup. Central's top of the order has done, done a number on him tonight. 0-2 is the count. Buchanan from the wind up. Off-speed pitch, slow roller to third. Owens with the play and the throw. Nice Good play. play, job. That's a tough play for a third baseman. He's running in, and he's then got to come up and throw on the run. And you, that's, that's a tough, tough play to make, but he did a good job. So, big first out for the Eagles. Brings up center fielder Ben Moore and having a great game. Three, three, three RBIs, double, two singles. Moore's been a monster this game. Done a good job. First time he's faced Buchanan. One out. Strike one, leads them all. Good pitch for Buchanan, starting him off the strike. Fooled him, got the corner. And see, that's, you know, Morin is an experienced and good enough hitter. He, he's okay going on two because that wasn't a pitch he wanted. Yep. He said, I'm going to take it if it's a strike, fine. Now I battle because I think he, he does a good job with two strikes. Good pitch for Buchanan. Again, nowhere near he could do anything with it. You're up, pitch. you're up 0-2. Waste that. Bottom of the fifth, central on top, 8-1. to one. one out here. 
Madison Central in command. Long fly ball to center. Plenty of room to Wyatt. And he squeezes. So the Eagles is happy with that. They finally get Morin out. Finally get him so, out. Connor Buchanan, great job on that on that sequence of pitches got on top. Goes off Holbrook to the plate, 0 for 2, hit by a pitch. Holbrook comes to the plate with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Again, since that first inning, Don, we're looking at a 2-1 to one ball game, brother. Yep. That's shallow. That's going to be tough. Can a second baseman get out? No. Nope. Another Texas leaguer. Hey, you take it. Hit it where they ain't, buddy. <laughs> Holbrook will take it. You just said two to one game, you know, Southern's got to feel good about that. Yeah, and of course, you know, that you can say those numbers all day long, but yeah. but still, when you do put a six spot on somebody, even yeah. offensively, you kind of you kind of relax. So, bit. I mean, it's not a true, oh, it'd be a no. two to one game, but no. but still, you see what they've done and they've battled a little bit. So, they've been able to but, keep uh, it close since that, though, since that, bad uh, inning, they've been able to play. But that's a pretty demoralizing a six spot in the bottom of the first in a game with your ace pitcher on the mound. Hunter Cablin to the plate. Connor Buchanan starts him out with a strike. One for two with a walk. Three RBIs on tonight for Hunter. Two uh, two outs here. Buchanan trying to get him out. They got the two out single. Texas leaguer by Holbrook. Did he get him? Hit oh, hit him. Hit him. I'll take that one. I'm a little off speed pitch. Didn't get much to him. Again, those are the ones you're going to get hit with. You don't mind yeah, that too the bad. Ones you want to get with. <laughs> so two outs. Central trying to threaten. We got first and second. Two outs. Coming to the plate for the Indians. Josh Wright. Josh Wright. Two for three. Stolen base. Two singles. Eagles not even holding the guy on at first, but they throw to second. Griffin Norris tries to sneak in behind. Behind him. So Holbrook should be able to get a little deep. He needs to be a lead at least as far as the first baseman over there. He's wasting three or four steps. So he can score on a double shot up the middle. Through Norris. Through. Norris was kind of covering. That They're should score him. a run. Weather's that should score him. a run. Nope, nope. Oh, they stopped him. I think he stopped himself. He stopped himself. I don't know. He was rolling him. But anyway, so we'll see if that costs him or not. Big Zach Hall comes to the plate. Time to earn his money. Yeah, he um he seemed to throw come in. He slowed himself Did up he? there. Okay. Yeah. All right, Hall coming to the plate. Bases loaded here. Two outs. This is where uh, where you do some damage. Hall is due. He's over two with two yep. strikeouts yep. and a walk. Time to do some damage here. The bases loaded. Buchanan trying to shut this off. Off speed pitch. He gets Hall. Swing and a miss. <laughs> As the lights have come on here at Donner's Field. Those look nice. New additions to the outfield look good too. Second pitch, another breaking ball. I believe they're going to feed him a healthy, healthy diet of breaking pitches. Because if I remember the last at bat, he went after a couple breaking pitches and couldn't catch them. So, see if he can. Now they've got him 0-2, so Buchanan can kind of make the call here. On the ground Shot short. hard ground ball, but they get the force, so nice job. Hall did a good job coming back battling 0 2 there, but you can through the right pitch and they get out of there with no more damage, so no run scored. We go to the top of the six, 8 to 1, Madison Central on top, Madison County School Sports Television. We'll be back. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises.
High baseball fans, we're back. Madison Central High School, Madison County School Sports Television. First game of the Kentucky National Guard Invitational. Madison Central on top big, going in the top of the six, eight to one. Alex George will still on the mound and coming to the plate for the Eagles. Got Connor Buchanan, is that right? That is. He's started out in right field and he's now pitching. Gets fooled on a breaking ball, pulls way out, and he's down in the count. No balls and one strike. One for three on the night. George has done a nice job on the mound for him. Heads up in the dugout. <laughs> Buchanan making him scatter. Yeah, he has. You know, one for two on the night. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, he started off there. He was first the inning off. with a yeah, base hit and he got picked off. But he's a he's he's tough at the bat. You can tell. Good eye right there. One ball, two strikes. But like I said, George has done a great job. He's, he's thrown strikes. He's not tried to overpower anybody. He's picked up the speed a time or two. But then again, pretty a lot easier to pitch, and you got a six-run cushion in the first inning. And the one runs on earned. So. Yep. Yep. 0-2 pitch to Buchanan. Whoo! Just a bit outside. Nobody complained. We were on the side here, but it looked good. Hall didn't 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 make any face. So I guess we're not in a spot to say much. Update one, you don't want to say too much. But no, absolutely was a strike. not. Ground ball, going to go foul. foul. Now, Holbrook, he was playing kind of deep, but that's one of them. If, if that ball's coming, if he can go get that thing in fair territory, he needs to go ahead and get it because so many times it happens now, Buchanan will hit one about 450. But he, 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 he probably couldn't strikes. get there. Right. Yeah. He probably couldn't get there. But, so you don't, but then again, you don't want to run up there and tip it and maybe go, then, it, then you bounce it away yeah. and it's an yeah. error. So. He's playing pretty deep, though, so he probably made the right call. Just a bit inside. Runs the count even two and two. Runs it full. Full, I'm sorry. I spoke too soon before they put it up. Runs it full. Buchanan leading off his top of the six, trying to get something going. And he draws a walk. Nice job. All right. Jonathan Ross, the catcher to the plate. Come up. He went down looking last time. 0 for 1. So let's Would've see walked. if uh, Buchanan stays close over there. He's able to move around a little bit and get on the board. He's going. Fake ball. He's been after it. Yep. Strong throw by Hall, but he a little high, and Buchanan is in there. Buchanan, an aggressive base runner. Got a good jump that time and stole that base with ease, really, with the throw. I think if the throw was online, it might have been close, but I believe he had it. If you're Southern, you just got to try to manufacture runs any way you can. Yep. All right. No outs here. Man on second. 0-1 to count to Ross. Trying to push Buchanan on down the way. He's going. And a bunt. So that'll move him over. He's going to go for the out. He gets the out. Good. They'll take the out all day. Well. Puts they, an out on the board. Yeah. Gets a runner at third, so. So, 8-1, to one, man on third, one out. Central gets out, big Devin Van over, up to the plate. Over two, two strikeouts. I guess for the Eagles right here, you're just looking for a run. Anything to build confidence. That's that's that, that, that's probably the case there. You're right. Just trying so. to get something positive going. Of course, your three-hole hitter, I guess you just does not expect to see him bunting much. But, you know, we've got a man in scoring position. But he moved him over. So, let's see if Van Over can go on and finish the job. Good swing, hit it hard. In the left. Going to tag. Play at the plate. Alexander with the throw. They don't cut. Got Play him. There and he is out. Got him. Nice throw. I thought the tag was going to go high, but it beat him, and Hall made a nice play. Nice and throw. A good throw. Is Alexander still out there and left, isn't it? Yes. So all the opportunity goes down the tube. So hey. Southern um, gave it to Tim Buchanan there, but the throw was right on track, right on the money, and got him at the plate. So we're uh, – Going into the bottom of the six, eight to one still. Madison Central on top. We'll be back. Madison County, Madison County School Sports Television. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, 
and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. Madison County School Sports Television. So many times you have uh, end of an inning big catch and the guy leads off the inning. Well, now we've got a guy made a great play making the throw in there, Alexander, and he's going to lead off the inning. So he's leading off in the bottom of the six. Alexander one for two. A big throw there. RBI sack fly, and he was caught stealing once. But they said he had that big throw, though, in his last inning. Buchanan's still on the mound. He starts out with the ball. I hope he didn't hurt himself on that slide in there. I think that's he kind of fell. Too, yeah, yeah, he kind of came off funny, but that's exerting a lot of energy for a pitcher to come back there and throw. I'm sorry, I don't know everything. Want to know the count to Alexander? Madison Central on top, eight to one. A little high, ball two. Two and zero oh, down low. Three and zero. Oh. So Buchanan, he's he's gonna have to kind of take a deep breath, get back. He exerted, like stole second, stole third, or moved over on the bunt, and then tried to score on that tag. So he's he's bound to be winded. Low ball four. That's that's exactly what it is, Donald. I mean, he's golly, what an inning, you know. <laughs> yeah. I to come back and have to pitch that, that's tough. He may have hit the wall for Yeah, him. yeah, I mean, he. All right, man on first. Four-pitch walk for Alexander. Coming up for the Indians is Kavanaugh, the man on first. Alexander drew the walk. Kavanaugh at the plate. Connor throws to first. Kavanaugh one for two with a double. Stolen base. And a walk. You can't have to settle down here and all that things get out of hand on him. No outs. Another ball. That's five in a row for him, Donald. He's going to have to find his find his rhythm. Indians looking for three runs. <laughs> Kevin, I'm sure, is taking here. Even though they're up eight to one, he's thrown about five in a row, and then that got a strike in there. So he definitely should have been taken, and he was. <coughs> one and one. Buchanan evens the count. Third ball, hard hit ball. Base hit. In the six hole, base hit for Kavanaugh. Alexander move over to second. So the Indians have something going here in the bottom of the sixth. First two men on, a walk and a base hit. Brings to the plate. Isaac Swafford. Mr. Swafford. Swafford's had a good game. He he had two other good couple good at bats in that last one. He battled, then he ended up taking that third strike, which was one of his better ones. I think he just got fooled and wasn't ready. He's one for two with an RBI double. Yeah. So Buchanan trying to not let this thing get. That's going to advance the runners. That's going to advance them. So now we're second and third. Nobody out. That's so pretty bad. One and over the count. Catcher where the ball was. He lost it. He got caught in the green. Little action over in the bullpen for the Eagles. <laughs> Count is 1-0. Oh. Say so Swafford will be ready for something here. Yep. Puts it in play. In the gap. And it falls. The run will come home. No, they caught it. Oh. Yeah, they caught it. Tagged up and came in. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of had a bad like vantage point. I yeah, had but a he, bad vantage point. I, I thought got he you. dropped. Yeah. I saw him tagging. I thought, that Swafford did his job right there. Got the run in. That's huge. 
That is huge. He got it out there deep enough to score Alexander, who had moved over. So two outs. New hitter. New hitter, Mr. Griffin Hotchkiss at the plate. So we're going to have a new pitcher on the mound. Griffin is a senior, been playing a lot, does a good job. Good young man, too. That's the biggest thing I'll say about him. Kevin on second with one out. Hoskins takes high from Buchanan. Tough spot for a hitter. Been sitting over here, ready to get their chance, and hopefully he can come in and get his hands going and catch Buchanan sliding him one in the sweet spot. Ball two. Just missed. Just missed. Nine to one. Central's push one across here. Not a lot of scoring since that big first, but it really needs a lot of scoring. That's true. You know, the first was. Hot gets on the ground. Through oh, the hole. Nice job. That'll score a run. Yep. yep. Good piece of hitting, Griffin. He he did. He pushed it that away. Two two strikes on or two balls. It was two and zero, oh, and he was looking for something hard. Got it. New hitter at the mound, number. That's Humphrey. Number one. That's Mr. Humphrey. Kirk Humphrey, Humphrey into the another senior coming in here. I pushed the score to ten to one. If my if my memory and rules are correct, if if Hotchkiss was to score, that would be the game, wouldn't it, Donald? I believe so. You cannon throw over to Hotchkiss. He got his white pants dirty now. He wasn't even wasn't too far off, but Griffin with the big RBI there. See what Humphreys can do with it. <laughs> Not much of a dive back for no. Hotchkiss, but he, he's going to get his pants dirty. Put his mama Amy to work tonight. Humphrey, another name. He, Daddy played up here. Good ball player. Ground ball to second again. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, but they got him still. What a break. Got him. Got a break for the Eagles there. The runner kind of got in contact as the second baseman was trying to make the play, but as it hit him, it bounced right to right Norris second. At, at second. Another new hitter up. Who we got here? Number 35, Don. You got that full roster? 35. Kelsey. Jonah Kelsey. All right, two outs. Bottom of the sixth, 10 to 1. Jonah Senior. So they're just hoping to go and get this out so they can get in and make a run at something, you know, make some noise. Leave the Empire never a question. Never Get's know what over. can happen. It's 35 on there. I can't see. You had it. He's not. He's not eligible. <laughs> I don't know what they're calling that. They call a game on that down? Is that it? They forfeit it? <laughs> oh, well. Jonah wasn't on the list. I say put him on there and then start him out with an 0 1 count. How about that? Is that legal? Can you do that? <laughs> probably what happened. Coach Gross probably filled out the lineup card and he. He struggles. He's one of them guys. No, he, but uh, <laughs> Withers didn't know what happened. Who's gonna Who's gonna shoot the free throws? Is what I want to know on the technical. Well, Donald, they're having to square it away. He still gets to play. That's good. Jonah's gonna get in. All right. So we've got two outs here in the bottom of the six. Man on first. Madison Central on top, ten to one. All right. Got the substitution. Confusion squared away, and Connor Buchanan ready to bring it from the stretch. Humphrey on it first. From the stretch, first pitch, high. Kelsey wanted to drive something to a gap, see if they can get Humphrey's wheels on, get him around and score. Who dropped that curveball in? Boy, that started out high, and it dropped right there, didn't it? It did. It looked I good. thought, man, that's a high ball, too, for sure, but that thing dropped right in there. Good pitch for Buchanan. <laughs> 1-1. Strike two. Good pitch. 
So, Don, I guess if he's not on, there's no penalty for that, evidently, is there? I guess not. I don't think so. No. I don't know. The, both, both dugouts agreed. Let him on. Right. Let him in. Counts one and two to Kelsey. Buchanan from the stretch. The pitch. It's a shallow fly ball. It's high. Left's going to have to come in and get that. And he does. And he does. That's Easton Schaus came in, so that ends the sixth. Madison Central gets a couple across. Ten to one. Going into the top of seventh. Madison Central will be counting outs. We're going to take a quick break. Madison County School Sports Television. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond. Luxury Pet Service in Richmond. Jack Burford Chevrolet. Faith Created Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com. Linville Insurance. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. Richmond Tourism. Pro Signs. CSEP. First Gear. And Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. Sports fans, we're back for the top of the seventh here, Madison Central High School, Madison County School Sports Television. First game, opening game of the Kentucky National Guard Invitational. We've got a host of substitu substitutions. I don't know if we'll be able to get them all. We do have a new pitcher in for the Indians, a freshman. Mr. Briar Rose is on the mound. So that's pretty impressive. You've got a freshman out there going to get some varsity minutes. And um, we'll see what he can do to close out this game for the Indians. Before we do conclude our broadcast, we will be giving out uh, – Jack Burford Chevrolet players of the game. We'll give one for each, each team. And uh, we're getting our stats and everything together and all our votes. So, Brian Rose, the freshman, his first pitch. Swing and fouled back. He's facing number two. Who we got him? Who's up for the Southern Eagles? I didn't even look. I'm Meeks. sorry. JD, JD Meeks. Meeks is up to the plate. So, over two. Rose, they expect a lot out of him. You got a freshman throwing at a varsity level. That's. This is a great experience. I don't care if you're up 10 to 1, 15 to 1, or whatever, but that's just the atmosphere of being in a varsity game is tough. So the second pitch was a ball outside. 1-1 one one delivery for Rose. Here it comes. Fastball outside. In the zone. Let's go. Not so fine. Let's go. Attack the hitter. Two balls, one strike. No outs here in the top of the seventh. Center wanting to close this thing out. And a good pitch. Swing and a miss for Meeks. Again, we got a game after this. Harlan plays Lafayette. And then tomorrow, everybody plays everybody else. So we'll have games tomorrow out here at Madison Central. Don Rich in the field, come on out. See some good baseball. I think it starts about 10 in the morning, I think. The two and one, way high. That even, even, or excuse me, that was a 2 2, so I guess it went 3 2 there. Full count. Talk of Lafayette. Lafayette's 15th in the state. Always a good program. Tates Creek's number one. Defending champs, right? Didn't Tates Creek win it last I year? I believe they might have. Good pitch. Got him swinging. Strikeout. First batter for Meeks. I mean, for Rose of Meeks. Excuse me. So we're at one out. Brow Rose gets the first strikeout coming to the plate. Got number 34. Lucas Owens. Lucas Owens. One for two. He went up, he went up the ladder the last time, got that line drive he, he hit. hit. <laughs> Wind up in the delivery for Rose. First pitch. Strike right down the middle. Nice job. Briar's a big kid for a freshman, and he's he's got a nice, nice motion. His dad is a good baseball player, Tony. Another good off-speed off pitch there right in for a strike. So he gets on top heavy on Lucas Owens, 0-2. He 
Just got to be careful not waste this pitch high because we know Owens will hit it, don't That's we? That's right. <laughs> Just go after him. Put him away. There you go. Woo, just missed. Just missed. One ball, two strikes. Owens with a good set of eyeballs up there. One, two on the way. Fastball. Looks like Hotchkiss over there at first. Got plenty of room. And he makes the play. Hotchkiss, long and lanky, reaching in the dugout with the play. Nice job. Two down. And Griffin Norris. Coming to the plate. See if he can end the day on something good here. Great kid here as well, Griffin Norris. You know, you want to see guys like that, kids like that do well. And he's going to. He's going to keep battling. He'll keep getting better. And this will burn for him. But he's a competitor, and he's going to want to, you know, come back and get another shot. I guarantee you he'll want he'll want the next chance to play against him. He's not going to, you know, shy away from the moment. First pitch low and outside. With the win tonight, Central will extend its winning streak over Southern to 2005, the last time Southern was able to get a win over the Indians. There's a strike. Evens, evens the count, one and one. Brian Rose doing a good job here, coming in, throwing strikes. It's what you want out of any pitcher, especially a young pitcher. Good cut for Norris. Swing and a miss. Foul tip, I guess, a little bit. One ball, two strikes on Norris. Brian Rose trying to close this thing out. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. Madison Central on top big, 10-1. to one. First round of the Kentucky National Guard invitation. One and two on the way. Mm -hmm. Off-speed pitch just out. Good pitch. Good pitch. It's a good place to put that. That was. Two's across the board now. <laughs> Foul. Is it going to be room? Griffin going to get another one. Going to get another one. That should end the ball game. That did it. So, Madison Central wins big. 10-1. to one. Good win by the Indians over district rival. Yep, yep, yep. Good win. They, uh, you know, did what they had to do. And, uh, you know, we'll. You know, it's just uh, one of those, you know, six runs in the first, put Eagles behind the, right. behind the eight ball. And right. That six run, you can't, you know, yeah, that's, that's tough, just, you know, to come back from a come young team or whatever. So. But a great job for. You know, win for the Indians. They'll come back tomorrow. And Southern gets to play a couple more games That's tomorrow, right. I believe. Everybody plays yep. two more tomorrow. So let's uh, so. let's go with our players of the game, Don. I think Jack Burford, Chevrolet player of the game for the Indians, be the center fielder Ben Moore. Ben Moore, three for four, I think he was. Ben was Is that three right? Four. George did a good job. He had three a RBIs. Yep. yep, we had, a, had several candidates for the Indians. There but was. We're going to give that one there. And as far as the Jack Burford player, Chevrolet player of the game for the Eagles, let's see if we go with Connor Buchanan. Connor Buchanan, I think so. He now made he, a couple <laughs> base running mistakes. Yeah. He got picked off, and then he was sent on that play yeah, from third his, base. Now, yeah. what his call? He was sent. But as hey. far as aggressiveness and making some things happen, yeah. came in. He and came in and pitched well. Pitch well, he definitely is going to get that. So he stole the base. He got yep. a walk. You yep. know, he got a hit. So, yep. so we. Uh, so, Connor we, Buchanan to Madison Southern, Ben Moore to Madison Central, Jack Burford, Chevrolet, player of the ball games. And Don, we had you know a lot of a lot of good things for the Indians, so we can see them keep you know doing that. They're going to get a chance to get a chance to uh, uh, get some other games in next week. We'll see what we can do. Uh, but again, good win for the Indians. They'll get a chance to play 11th Region foe tomorrow. That's right. They play and Lafayette. And we'll play we'll, uh, County That's tomorrow. right. That's right. So, you know, good win. We're going to get ready to sign off uh, till our next broadcast. We'll, we're not for sure when we're on there. I think the girls' uh, softball are going to have a game on there tomorrow. But uh, again, this is Chad Tate, Don Foster, and we will see you guys next time. Madison County School Sports Television. Good night. This sports programming is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble in Richmond, Luxury Pet Service in Richmond, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Linville Insurance, Time Warner Cable, 
Madison County Schools, Richmond Tourism, Pro Signs, CSEP, First Gear, and Rosenbaum Communications. This program is sponsored in part by Equipment Sales and Rentals. Give Sean a call. And by Tatum Enterprises. Hello everybody, I'm David Sullivan. I want you to watch Madison County Schools Sports Television. Rosenbaum Communications. Rosenbaum Communications is a full-service television production and media company. We've produced projects and provided services all over the world for such clients as ABC Sports, NBC Sports, CBS, ESPN, Amway International, Time Warner, and many regional and local clients such as East Kentucky Power, Center College, Georgetown College, KET, the Kentucky Coal Association, Keeneland, and the Kentucky School Board Association, and many, many more. Give Rosenbaum Communications a call and let us quote and plan your next media project. No project is too small. Our client list may be impressive, but our service is very personal and budget friendly. Visit our website at rosenbaumcommunications.com. Let us show you how to get started. We look forward to hearing from you soon. You know, fans, when we were uh, actually doing a ball game, Randy and I talked a lot of times about how important rebounding, turnovers, and free throw shooting, how important those three things are. And uh, what we thought we'd do today is show you the free throw shooting part is really important. We always say on the, on the air, free throws, you got to make them. Why? Because they're free. They're free. <laughs> so they named them that for a reason. So we're going to do a little uh, free throw shooting competition, best out of five between Randy and I. And we'll just show you how easy free throws are to make. As you can see, Randy, they are free. What's so hard about free throws? Come on, boys and girls, hit your free throws. You'll win the game. I want you to watch Madison County School Sports Television.
Rosenbaum Communications. Rosenbaum Communications is a full-service television production and media company. We've produced projects and provided services all over the world for such clients as ABC Sports, NBC Sports, CBS, ESPN, Amway International, Time Warner, and many regional and local clients such as East Kentucky Power, Center College, Georgetown College, KET, the Kentucky Coal Association, Keeneland, and the Kentucky School Board Association, and many, many more. Give Rosenbaum Communications a call and let us quote and plan your next media project. No project is too small. Our client list may be impressive, but our service is very personal and budget friendly. Visit our website at rosenbaumcommunications.com. Let us show you how to get started. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Natural hazards can be scary, especially for kids. We count on the adults in our lives to help keep us safe. That's why there's a website that can show you and your family how to prepare for all kinds of hazards. You can learn what to do during disasters, like tornadoes, and how to plan for emergencies, like flash floods. Remember, we're counting on you to keep us safe. Be aware. Learn how to prepare at madisoncountyema.net. Another great sponsor for Madison County School Sports Television is Madison HVAC. Visit them at madisonhvacr.com. By calling Madison HVAC, you always know you'll talk to the owner. Give them a call. <laughs> 